Hello everyone, get ready for some trending new info in your quest for knowledge. What film role was 100% perfectly cast? J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson. So good they cast him twice. They just started shaking a comic book and he fell right out. Lol. That's it. Christoph Waltz as Hans Landa in Inglorious Bastards. Oh. That's a bingo. And me saying that right? That's a bingo? You just say bingo? Bingo. How fun. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Terminator. Thanks everyone. Fun fact. James Cameron originally wanted Lance Henriksen as the Terminator and Schwarzenegger as Kyle Reese. He also wanted O.J. Simpson to play the Terminator in the first movie. But when O.J. auditioned for the role, James Cameron thought he was too friendly and nice to accurately portray a killing machine like the T-800. Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. To piggyback, Thomas F. Wilson as the many versions of Biff Tannen, Griff, and Mad Dog Tannen. He's one of the great 80s villains and also his choices just fit perfectly in the tone and world they built. He's especially good in part 3. He is criminally underrated when it comes to his role in the success of the trilogy. He could have just played the same character each time but Biff, Griff and Mad Dog are believable as different people. I also love his older Biff. James Earl Jones's voice is Darth Vader. To add on to that, his voice is Mufasa. Can we just agree that his voice is perfect? Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow Barbosa was also perfectly cast emo. Jack Sparrow doesn't shine without a good, well-written villain. One of the things that's missing from more recent films. They keep getting good actors to play the villain, Lan McShane, Javier Bardem, but then severely underutilize their characters. Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. FT foot to foot dash foot to foot dash foot featuring liver and fava beans. Yum! And Anis Chianti. Matthew Lillard as Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He earned it too. He would go off by himself and scream at the top of his lungs to get his voice hoarse to the point where he could pull off sounding like Shaggy. Imagine it's your first day at a catering company. You know you're gonna work at the film studio and you're pretty psyched. After all how often do you get to have a day like that? You're out back setting up in the parking lot when out of a back door comes Shaggy. Hey! You think, you love Scooby-Doo. You and your dad used to watch it all the time. This must be the guy that plays Shaggy. Maybe you can just for a second go over and tell him how cool it is to see Shaggy Earl. Then Shaggy faces the open parking lot and screams bloody murder. You feel the color drain from your face. Shaggy screams and screams until his voice goes hoarse then goes inside. You quit that day. Maybe Hollywood isn't for you. Anthony Starr as Homelander. He's incredible as Homelander, truly fricked up and terrifying. Anytime he's in a scene with someone, I fear for their life she disappeared about 40 years ago in universe. Homelander's about 40. She's his mom. Calling it now. Leslie Nielsen in Airplane. He had been a serious actor to that point and they picked him because they wanted someone to play the role 100% straight. It's weird to see how one generation knows him as a serious actor, while another knows him as a comedic actor. I've talked about that with my grandma a couple times. Same with John C. Riley. Kathy Bates in Misery. Her American Horror Story characters have been amazing also. I really liked her as Joe Bennett in The Office, too. Maybe she's just a good actor. Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones. I couldn't imagine Temple of Doom existing if Tom Selleck got the job for Raiders. RDJ as Iron Man. Imagine seeing RDJ as a successful actor prior to the first Iron Man movie. John Candy as Uncle Buck. Obligatory upvote for anything John Candy. Such great memories of childhood films and apparently, one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. Oh, and let's not forget the great outdoors. Sigourney Weaver in Alien. Even better when you know the part was written without a gender specified. I never knew that. That's awesome. That cast was as good as you could get. Sigourney Weaver was phenomenal. Alan Rickman as Severus Snape. Also Alan Rickman in everything he ever did. Also, RIP to the notorious RBG. May her memory be a blessing. Make sure you're registered to vote. Loxley. I'm gonna cut your heart out with a spoon. Brian Cranston as Walter White. Both him and Aaron Paul were made to play those characters. Aaron Paul was so good that it changed the story, Jesse was going to be killed off in one dollar. Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. No one could ever compare. 
I listened to a podcast called the Beetlejuice Minute where each episode covered a minute of the movie. It really opened my eyes to how incredibly talented Michael Keaton is as an actor. My personal favorite moment is when he says he wants to get out and Lydia replies that she wants to get in. There's a split second where his showman facade drops and he says, why? It's so subtle and I never noticed it before. This is heartbreaking because he was Juno's assistant which means he killed himself. You can see on his face the confusion and horror at this teenage girl wanting to die. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.